Hey, darling. Oh, come here. Oh, someone's impatient. Okay, okay. Go sit down and I'll show you what I've got for you today. So, to start off with, I know you've been struggling with your phone for the past few days, so I got you a new one. Yeah, the best. The newest iCat 12. I got you the gold edition, along with a new case, pop stand, and wireless earbuds. I'll help you set it up later. Next, I got you some new clothes. I figured since we're going to Hawaii next week, you could use some new stuff to wear. Mm-hmm. I know. They're great. They'll look amazing on you. I have great taste. I also got you that limited edition squishy mellow thing you were obsessing over when you saw its release online. Let's see. I also got you some new shoes, and that new video game you've been wanting. So, are you happy? Oh, you're so sweet. I'm so glad you like everything. What good is all this money if I can't spoil my precious angel? You got my text, right? About dinner? Yeah, I went ahead and ordered from your favorite restaurant to have it delivered. I thought we could eat, I could help set up your phone, maybe watch you game for a little bit, then a nice hot bubble bath before falling asleep under the stars. Sounds good? Great! Just in time. Did you like dinner? I'm glad. Now, how about you go get me your phone so we can set up your new one? Why? Well, we need to move over your numbers, pictures, and whatnot. Yeah, I can just send you pics from my phone, and I know all the numbers you keep. But isn't it easier to transfer the stuff directly from your old phone to your new one? Oh, okay. We can do that later, I guess. Sure. You go start up the game, and I'll put the dishes on the dishwasher. You seem to be really enjoying the game, darling. But maybe we should cut it off here for the night. You've been playing for a few hours, and it's not healthy for you to stay up too late. Mm-hmm. Finish up while I go start the bath. It's their old phone. Why were they being so stubborn earlier? A lock? Since when did they start locking their phone? Well, I know them, so the password is probably... Yep. How predictable. A new message. Hey cutie, are you busy tonight? I miss you so much in the case. Let me know when that walking bank isn't hounding me so we can spend some quality time together. Love you. What <laughs> the fuck is this? Your contact name is 
faith. Wait, what is mine? Where is it? There. That's my number. Think of bitch. Oh. 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 So this is what they really think of me, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, there you are. Took you long enough to finish your work, babe. You can explain. Go ahead, spin me some tall tale of lies. You're very good at that. All those, you're the best. I love you so much. You're my everything. I feel safe with you. Hmm. All of that was bullshit, I guess. Cause you have me listed as bank bitch in your old phone. Hmm. Guess that explains why you didn't want me to transfer the files. I bet you were complaining about your phone so you could have one to show me and a secret one to text your lover. I had no right to go through your phone. Well, you're right. It was wrong of me. But I thought we agreed we had nothing to hide. You offered in the past to let me look through your phone. But I guess that was before you started this fling. I guess I was just walking money to you. I was gullible and bought you everything you could ever want. I listened to your problems, spoiled you with my affection on top of monetary things. Sit. Don't start crying now. And begging won't get you anywhere. I'm scaring you. Well, you've never seen me like this before. Jealous, angry, broken. I gave you my everything. And you gave me the bare minimum. I loved you. I love you. But you, you've just been using me this entire time. You'll return everything. No, that won't work, babe. I've been gentle, I've been kind and patient and loving. But until you've earned it back, that nice spoiling girlfriend is going away. You're not leaving this apartment. Not one foot outside. I'm going to take care of this floozy and mold you into a better partner. One who will actually love me. Of course I'm not going to just dump you. I spent a lot of time and effort on this relationship and I still love you despite what you did. Take a shower. We're not going to have our pleasant bubble bath and night under the stars. You're going to clean yourself up. And then we're going to set some new ground rules. Oh, and don't even think about running off. You know I like having the alarm set every night to make sure no one breaks in. It also works for people trying to leave the apartment. If the guards see you, you'll be captured and returned to me. Oh, don't cry. You know you get all stuffy when you cry. Plus, you get dehydrated. So go take your shower and hurry up. I'm not exactly in a patient mood anymore. What am I going to do to her? That's none of your concern. But I'll tell you one thing. It won't be pretty. It makes my skin crawl to think someone else had their hands all over you. Their lips on your skin. When you said you loved me, that meant you were mine. 
my precious darling, the love of my life. But the idea of you being with someone else makes me violently ill. So wash up. Scrub hard. We'll talk when you're finished. I need to go take care of a few things. Stop screaming. I wasn't talking about your lover. I'll deal with them later. I just need to secure the apartment more and make a few business calls. <laughs> I really didn't think you were the type to be this cruel. But love makes people stupid sometimes. I guess I was just a fool.